Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another wheel swap video, which I said I wasn't gonna do, but things change when you find a couple of nice vehicles that you wanna swap out. So today's victim is gonna be a Matchbox. This 95 Nissan Hardbody D21. Let's go ahead and get it out of the package here. Today we're gonna to swap the wheels on this. I'll show you just a minute what we're gonna be putting on it. Here we go. 95, yes, in case someone asks, I have been painting trim today, and no, I haven't got it all off my hands, but we'll take care of that later. We're going to be changing this out. I don't really like what's in the bed, but we may work on that. Get this in focus. We're going to be putting a different set of wheels on this thing today. And the donor car will be that. The 15 Mazda MX-5 Miata. We're going to put these five-spoke low-profile tires and wheels over on that truck. I hope that's the plan. Let me get this Mazda open and we'll take a look at it. Size comparison may be just a little bit bigger on the Mazda. Sorry, let me get it back. Size comparison may be a little bit bigger on the Mazda. Not really sure. I believe they're pretty close in size. Let's go ahead. I'm not going to go through the whole ordeal, but I'm, we're going to go ahead and drill these rivets right here out like, you know, Pretty common thing. And I may, while I've got this apart, I know this is raised up and it's not going to sit exactly right. I've got an idea to lower it. We may not lower this one, but um, I think if I put these wheels, we may lose this hitch. We may change a thing or two. So off camera, I'm going to go ahead and drill these rivets out of both cars. I'm not going to go through that whole process. We'll be right back with you. <clears throat> all right. With all the drilling done, I went ahead and took the car apart. It's uh, It was a little bit more of a pain than I thought it might be. Don't know what I'll do with these bodies, this body right here exactly. Uh, it might be interested in it, but you know the trick right here. What I'm going to do is heat these right here, and I'm going to save these tires and wheels. Let's go ahead and tires and wheels, save them axles of the, the Nissan. Um, I'm going to do a little work on it. Let's see if I can get this thing apart real easy right here off to the side. Put it, there we go. See, once you get these tabs drilled out for anyone that hasn't does it, once you or hasn't done this before, once you drill these right here low enough, I leave them just enough where they'll snap together, snap apart, there we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Dremel and cut these right here back. And if I'm gonna lower this vehicle, I've been thinking about how to do it due to the fact it's got like a four wheel drive suspension. I'm not going to do it on this one, but I'm going to go ahead and, and on another one and drill it out. And I'm going to put JB Weld in here, set the axle height where I want it. And this may not look the best in the world. As a matter of fact, it won't. Uh, once the JB Weld sets up and solidifies all this together, then I'm going to grind some of this off that I don't want. But on this particular vehicle, I'm going to take and cut these little nubs right here off that match these nubs right here where this thing sets together where it looks like it's a four-wheel drive. So I'm gonna cut all this mess off right here where you won't have the fender flares. So you'll essentially, let's go ahead and drop the window over there. You're gonna have that look right there, maybe. Now that I've stuck the body together, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna change the wheels and let it ride. So let's go ahead and get these out of here. I'll go ahead and get the little screwdriver the trusty little screwdriver get the tip heated up on it. Not going to show both vehicles, but just for anybody that hasn't seen this, all you got to do is heat that, drive it right in between those two, like that right there. Once they're warm, might might take a couple of tries. You want to be able to pop that axle out just like that. Take no chance and don't want to bend the one that you're fixing to put on there. Now this ain't how it's going to look, the finished product, but I used to be into these little mini trucks, and I might just put a picture uh, right over <laughs> right over here on the screen of a truck I used to have in real life. This looks so much, brings back so many memories, but I'm not going not gonna to build this one like this. We're not going to lower it all the way down. Let me go ahead and get this back together. And we'll show you. 
Here, like I said, we're going to use this body. We're going to lay it over here. I think I've decided not to do the grinding on the fender wells that I was originally going to do just because I'm not going to lower this vehicle as much. So now I've got to go ahead and do the same trick to these. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. We're going to melt these, melt these two little tabs right here and get these tires and wheels off here, and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, we successfully got the wheels took off the Nissan. We're down. So what you want to do, now I left these just, you might hear it snap together when I put them in here. And you might have to take the screwdriver, see if you can hear it. Just snap right down in there. Do the same thing with the back. And then I'm going to heat the screwdriver back up and melt these little, well, stay in focus. Melt these little tabs. Come on, right here. Just melt them, bend them right back over to hold the axle in place. Let me get that done off camera and I'll show you the results. All right, see if we can get you a good clean close-up right there. That's all it takes. All you got to do is just melt that and push it right back down that axle, and it's going to stay right in place. It'll work just like it did. Same thing with the back. Well, I haven't seen it yet, so let's go ahead, even though I've been sitting here doing all this, I haven't put a thing together to see what it looked like. We'll do that at the same time. Now, you'll probably hear this when I snap it back together. I left just enough of the die cast on the... On the uh, where I drill that out to where it'll snap together. Not very loud, but anyway, it did. Right there's the finished product. Changes the entire look of the vehicle. We'll go ahead and set it down here and get some shots here in just a second. You know what? I was gonna grind that hitch off the back of it, but I think I'll leave it alone just like it is. See if we can get us a little more light over here where we can get a better view. There we go. You'll see the carnage from the car in the background. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I sure knew what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to display it with my other ones. Like I say, it changes the look of the entire vehicle. Well, that's a short video. If you liked it, please like, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. I'm sure there'll be some more wheel change videos coming in the future. We'll eventually strip down the paint and paint some but i like this white with the gray striping so i just left it like it was y'all have a great day god bless see you on the next one